Uh, yeah, so today we went to the Salvation Army and uh, we interacted with the kids. And, uh, like we basically had different stations and then they had, at, the, at the end they had an optimal course. And, like, uh, it was four different stations and then each kid, we split the kids up to evenly, you know what I'm saying? So then, uh, they rotated and the station that me and him was in particular was the one at the bull in the ring. And the kids basically just, uh, we put one in the middle. And when he had to talk the ball to another kid inside the circle, and that kid had to make it past him, and they were like, you got to show, show up your juke moves. And it was very exciting and um, great experience, and uh, just dealing with the kids and having fun. And at the end, we got them active again with the, the obstacle course. We had a shuffle lateral drill, super score drill, drill where they had to run through the bags, getting hit by the, uh, by the campus. So it was real cool, man. We got to see the kids get active, get loose, and see their athleticism at a young age, so it was cool. BHAG Media Days, I think, is always an important time to get a chance to visit with your counterparts to kind of share some of the trials and tribulations that you're going through in terms of getting ready to get, get to the season. For all of us, the offseason is a big preparation time, and the fun part is actually getting to the season and getting your kids on the field and preparing for them playing football games. But it's good to get a chance to visit with those guys. It's a much more relaxed environment. You can tell jokes and ask guys what types of vacations they've been on and, and those types of things, how the families are doing. And, uh, it's a little bit more intense when you get to the season and you, it's time to line up and figure out who's gonna walk away with a W and who's gonna walk away with a nail. But uh, it's good to be able to visit with those guys and get a chance to know them a little bit better in a lot more relaxed environment where you're not worried about who's scoring touchdowns and who's making sets. Ricky Fisk and Greg Gibson did an outstanding job. Ricky is a sociology major, so naturally, you know, his major is, is interacting and understanding people, interacting with and understanding people. Greg is a his family and consumer sciences major, so uh, those guys are outstanding. They participated in the community service. They got a chance to visit with other guys from other teams and get a chance to know those guys a little bit more where when they compete against those guys in games, they'll have some friendships they started to build. Um, I thought they did an outstanding job representing us. They were well behaved. Uh, they looked apart. They looked like big time players in this league and they carried themselves that way. And I was extremely proud of, of what they did, how they did it in the way in which they represented us and this program and this institution. Getting a new look on the sideline this year, Morgan State University will be under new direction as Fred Ferrier leads the way, ranking them seventh place in the preseason poll. <laughs> you know, the number seven preseason ranking, at the end of the day, is really just a popularity contest based on last season. My true feeling is I really couldn't care less. You know, our, our end of the year results will be depending on how we play, how we perform, how we prepare, and how we execute. So regardless of how the other teams in the conference see us, where they see us fitting in, there's a reason why you play the games on Saturday. So you know, I look forward to us getting our kids here on August 6, preparing, beginning practice on the 7th or the 8th, and, and finding a way to get ready for our season opener September 3rd, you know, at 2 o'clock against Holy Cross. Preseason ranking doesn't really mean a whole lot. Uh, 
let's see where we end up at the end of the season. Let's see how we play in that first game. Let's see how we play in our second non-conference game. Let's see how we play September 24th at 7 o'clock when Howard walks in the door. Comes in here and wants to try to play a game against us. That's more so what I'm worried about. Preseason ranking is good for the fans. It's, it's good for the players. Uh, our team on our season, our motivation will not be based on what the preseason rankings say. Our, our motivation will be based on each and every one of our coaches, each and every one of our student athletes, each and every one of our players, each and every person in the building associated with this program, preparing and performing to the best of their ability every single time we get an opportunity. If we can perform at our best on a consistent level, we'll have a chance to be successful and whatever that is. So that's that's what I'm more so concerned about. Our guys learning, our guys executing, and our guys consistently executing to where we can be successful at what we do uh, day in and day out as people, as players, as students, and, uh, and as representatives of Morgan State University. I got my little singing on, but they gotta pay for the rest. Full song is cost you like a hundred. <laughs>